Hello Automation Anywhere Lovers, welcome back to KD Sessions. Today we are going to learn how to use Automation Anywhere A360 to copy data from one Excel file to another Excel file. It's like magically transferring uh, information from one spreadsheet to another spreadsheet. So let's get started. Imagine you have two Excel files. One is your source file with all the data you want to copy and the other is your destination file where you want to paste the data. Automation Anywhere will help us move this data from one file to the another file automatically. So let me show you the source file uh, which uh, from which we will copy the data. This is the file Excel file and uh, we will copy the data from this file and uh, we will paste the data in another file. Okay. So let's go to the control room and uh, first of all we need to open this excel file then we need to copy the data from this excel file uh, for opening the file i am using this open action of uh, excel advanced package here i have given the path of the excel file and our sheet contains a header as you can see and uh, i am going to open this in read uh, only mode because uh, we are going to copy the data only so i am uh, opening it in read only mode and i have created this session default okay after op opening the file, we need to copy the data means we will get the multi value of multiple cells. And uh, we are going to read all the rows. And uh, we will save the result in the data table. I have created this data table Excel sheet data. And after that, we will close this Excel file. We are not saving the changes because we are not making any change in this. Okay, so after uh, and uh, after closing this file, now we get the data in this uh, Excel sheet uh, data da uh, table. So we can go to this Excel package. And here we can see we have one option to write uh, from table data table. So we can take this uh, action and uh, we can write uh, this data table to the Excel file. Okay. So now in which Excel file we want to write, write the data. Either we can open a existing Excel file with the help of this Excel open package as we open already or we can create new Excel file with the help of create workbook. Okay. So if you want to use existing Excel file, you can use this Excel advanced package. You can open the file, uh, your existing destination file. When, then we can use this uh, action right from data table. And if you want to create a new Excel file and you want to save the paste the data in that new Excel file. So we will use this create workbook action. And here we need to give the file path. I am giving the output data as file name and sheet name sheet one. It is optional however. And after creating the workbook, we need to write the data from data table to this Excel file. So this data is available in our Excel sheet data data table and uh, specify the first cell. So you can uh, specify the cell uh, from where you want to write the data means uh, I want to write the data from A1. So I have given A1. If you want to write the data from A9 or B H9 or anywhere you can uh, use that. Uh, you can give that cell reference and after writing the data, we will uh, close that uh, file. And when we are going to close the file, we will save the changes when closing the file. Okay, so let me run the board. And let me close this. And I have opened this folder. Bot will create the output data file in this folder. And the bot will paste the data in it. So let it run. So bot has opened this Excel file. We can see it is read only and uh, it is getting the value of the cells. Now it has created a new Excel file. You can see book two. Uh, it will rename it. It has pasted the data and it is closing the spreadsheet. And here we can see this output data Excel SX. Bot has completed successfully. So let me open this uh, output file. And here we go, we can see this data. Nothing. But, uh, but we can't see the formatting of the data. And uh, if you want to copy the data in the same format and uh, if you want to apply the same formatting on the header or on the 
other cells so you can use macro we have already posted a video on macro you can check out that video we can use that macro to copy the data from one file and paste it in another so thank you guys for watching this video to let me know if you have any doubt or any question thanks bye